Hello and welcome back to The Body Coach TV. This is day number three of my seven day senior challenge. 10 minutes a day for seven days, nice and simple, gentle exercises, low impact to really get your body moving and get you feeling good. And today's session is simple again, 10 moves in 10 minutes, 35 seconds on the clock, 25 seconds rest. We're gonna go through the moves together. I'll demonstrate the exercise. If at any point one doesn't feel suitable or you cannot do it, simply switch it or um, have a little rest and ignore it. But the first exercise, nice and simple. We're gonna try and open up these hips now. So we're gonna do like a wide, almost like a sumo squat, but you don't have to go down if you can't without your hands. So you can, if you want, you can just use your hands just to kind of support as you come up and down. So you just slide the hands down the knees, trying to drive those knees out, weight into the heels, and really think about that opening those hips. So obviously you can sit down, the, the hands just help a little bit. If you have got the strength, off we go. You can obviously do it body weight only, but I think if you want to, just to get used to that, because that, that movement and also support yourself a little bit, just do it nice and slow. So your hands just slide down the thighs, towards the knees. And what I'm trying to do here is really sort of drive my knees backwards behind me to really create space and I open up those hips and then come up. So it's about hip range of motion here. If you're nowhere near that and you're not going anywhere, just keep it much more shallow like that. Don't go as deep. But having those hands there does support you a little bit. Last one, it does allow you just to kind of sit a bit deeper like that and then obviously you can push um, with those hands just to get you back up again. Right, so next exercise. I call these knee smashers. Don't know why, but basically stretch up and then you're gonna smash your hands into your knees. So you're sort of bringing the knee up and trying to drive your knee sort of through the hands. Now, if that's too hard, do a much easier version. Just bring your knee up. There we go, right, so drive up. So we're trying to stretch the arms up, drive the knee through. So knee smashes, that's it. Perfect, and again, you can slow these things right down. But if you've got the energy, you've got the mobility and you want to go a bit quicker, just go one, two, one, two. So you can scale it up, go as fast or as slow as you want. Stretch and reach. Come on, last few seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Perfect, right. 25 seconds of recover. Number three, we're gonna do some hook, hook punches now. We're gonna sort of twist the body slightly. So we're gonna be hooking in this position. We're gonna hook, hook the punch. So you sort of pivot. So imagine you're trying to connect to a pad like that. So you hook that way, hook that way. So it's a hook punch. So we twist, get a bit of rotation. Ready, let's go. So elbow up, hook, hook punch. So we're getting a bit of twisting rotation through that foot, pivot. That's it. Slowly. Remember, these things can be done in like actual slow motion if you want. And once you get the technique and that, the pattern, you can speed up a little bit. Let's get that blood pumping, get the heart rate working. Push. Let's go. Last 10 seconds. We're really trying to pick our heart rate up now. Just get a little sweat on. Three, two, one, and relax. Perfect. Right, recover. Next up, similar thing, except we're going to do some uppercuts. So bend those legs slightly, and we're going to come up and under. So we're trying to sort of imagine we're coming up, hitting the pad um, as an uppercut, yeah? So nice, tight fist. Don't punch yourself in the chin. I've done it before where I've gone bonk and chin yourself. Right, so one, two, just hooking, sorry, uh, uppercutting. Let's go. And obviously you can see I'm using the legs slightly. So I'm sort of coming into a sort of shallow squat and just using that leg to sort of push up and bring the power. You'd never just stand like this. You'd always use a bit of that leg power to drive up through Good. Obviously, the wider the feet, the more stability, you've got to get that nice stable base before you start doing it, but just make sure you're in that good position. And 10 seconds, right, upper, upper, come on. Big punches, five, four, three, two, one, and relax, perfect. Right, the next one, this is a strength exercise. Um, it's, it's a static squat hold. Now, obviously, in an ideal world, You'd be sort of sitting right down nice and low and holding that, but that's quite tough. If you haven't got the strength and the range of motion in the hips, you're just gonna bend the knees slightly, let's put our arms out in front, wherever that may be, we're just gonna hold. So basically, we're trying to hold that position. Um, that could be there for you, it could be there, it could be there. Whatever works for you, just hold that position. So weight in the heels, 
And what we don't want is our knees to sort of cave in. So really think about driving those knees out, feet are flat on the ground, weights in the heels of the feet, so the heels, and we're just holding. So you can already feel, even at the tiniest bend, they're switched on. These quads, these are strong muscles, get them strong. So hold the arms out in front. Right, and then the challenge is, can you stay there now? Eight seconds. Go another little centimetre lower if you can. Don't let them cave in, drive the knees out. Strong legs coming, strengthen these joints. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Oh. So, that's not an easy exercise, but great to you know, build the strength, and that's what we need. We've got to maintain strength in these muscles in these joints, and we can, we can stay strong, we can really can, we can build up our fitness again. So if you feel like they're weak and they don't feel like they're awake, you're, you're, you're waking the muscles up now. Every time you do a set of them, it's improving it. Okay, next up we're gonna do some shoulder rotation. So hands up, and we're gonna rotate back. So this is really about controlling the range. Arms come up, big circles, and then we go back. Change direction. So, tighten it, tense the abs, lift your arms up, and then start to rotate. Draw in big circles, hands by your side, and then unscrew it the other direction. So you might feel a little bit of clicking, a little bit, even I get that. You know, really taking that shoulder for its full range of motion. Right, reach up. Last one, stretch, up. So again, this is just about mobility in that joint. So you might find that one comes up to here and it's just not the same, that's, that's fine. You've got to work on that, but you know, you can, you can improve that. Next up, number seven. So we're gonna do a row, Basically, we're going to sort of squat down and row. So, come up and row. So, arms come out and again, if that's too low, take a few bit wider, stretch forward, pull back. Stretch and row. So, reach forward and pull. As you're pulling a rope towards you, you're trying to activate the muscle in your upper back and pull. Obviously, the stronger you get, the more range you get in those hips, the deeper you're going to eventually sit down. But don't go too low yet, just build it up. And relax, perfect. Right, shake your arms off. Give it a little shake, legs to shake. So, and we're now going to do a basically left foot on the ground, right knee back. We're going to drive that right knee. So, it's going to take a bit of balance on this left leg. So, left foot forward. Right leg back, and then we're gonna drive that knee forwards. Off we go. Obviously, the higher you are standing up, the easier it is. If you start taking that leg back, bend that more, we're gonna feel that more on that left leg. So, drive and back. Land, balance. Again, the second you take the foot off the ground, all these muscles are able to work. There's great work on the individual, you're going to start to see which leg's stronger. Good. Drive the knee up and rest. So this is, you're feeling the quad, but also the hamstrings, the glutes are really having to work. So it's good to do that, just to challenge yourself, get a bit of balance. Um, but as I said, now the same thing, right foot forwards. You don't have to be like lunging back and driving the knee up really high. You don't have to go right down to get that knee off the ground. You've only really got to step. Just a tiny bit back, step it back. All right, I don't know you, but I am. I'm getting a sweat on. I'm beating up. This is great, come on. Step and drive. Yeah, that really works, that right leg, that standing leg is doing all the work. Drive, up. Come on, we've got one more move after this. Let's go, big push, 10 seconds. So drive, knee just comes straight ahead, straight forwards. Four seconds, three, two, oh, one. First drop of sweat, hit the mat. It's a workout, we're earning it. Right, last one, now there's two options. I really want to strengthen your core, it's really important to wake these muscles up. I mean, these are your postural muscles, they help with you know, your lower back. And so we're gonna go down onto our knees, if you can, nice and slowly. And we're going to be in this position here. We're going to try and lift ourselves up, holding this position. Basically, just knees on the ground, elbows on the ground. Lift and hold. So think now about bracing your core. 
Go back, pulling your belly button up towards your spine. Good, nice deep breaths. Now, if you start to feel like your back's arching, you really want to think about avoiding that, but squeeze those abs, tighten those abs. Brace it, this is like the corset, the natural corset, so you've got to really think about like exhaling and then pulling your belly button up towards your spine. Come on, wake these muscles up. The last 10 seconds. This is the last move, hold it. Squeeze, squeeze, three, two, one, and relax, perfect. Now that is a really good exercise to strengthen your lower back and your abs. But of course, it might feel really difficult now, but I promise you, just keep coming back, keep trying these workouts out. These little moves, the squat holds, the planks, you're gonna improve, you're gonna see things like, you know, you're gonna have more range in the shoulder, you're gonna have more range in the ball and socket of the hip, and it's gonna allow you to sit lower into those squats and really feel that you're moving better. So keep coming back, that's day number two complete. No, that's day number three complete. Um, thanks for joining me and I'll see you tomorrow for day number four. Well done everybody.